Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shalom, Shabbat, Shalom, Kadash, and double to the Hells and Apostles of Graham, also the Thomas Truth, and peace, blessing, and salutations to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> and let's get started, man. And before you say anything, yes, I know this is AI. <clears throat> but even then, when it comes to how about Shema, how shy, we know there's nothing left to the imagination. Like all things are possible with your how about Shema, how shy, man. <clears throat> and if you wanted to, you could bring this type of thing on earth, man. Let me play it. Especially in Jacob's trouble, a time like never before, man, as it makes mention in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 30 and 7, man, like it says, alas, for that day is great. And when it says the day is great, it's not talking about <coughs> in today's sense or in today's age, but it'd be like, um, uh, what, what example can I give him? Um, Oh yeah, for for example, um, oh, they, they gave you extra chicken nugget. <laughs> they gave you extra chicken nugget, and then they'll be like, oh, we just we're, we're throwing a couple extra nuggets for you, and then you're like, oh yeah, that's great. <clears throat> nah, it's not talking about that type of great man. The, the great that it's talking about here is literally above average. When you go actually go into that word great, it's above average. So the average bad times or tribulation or things that have happened in the world is going to surpass that. And even the time of hardcore captivity, when we was taken by the other nations and sold all over the earth, <clears throat> mainly to the Americas, which before it was called Asaraf. <clears throat> So, yeah, like I was saying, it's, it's, it's going to be worse than, than that, man. <laughs> and let me, let, me, let me read it again, man. Let me drill it into your mind real quick. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that he that is talking about is the Lord's elect, man. <clears throat> and just like... The elders and apostles, they've been uploading. Well, recently they uploaded a video about, it's about the elect, man. Or, you're not good, you have to be of the Lord's elect. <clears throat> and that's who the Lord's going to save. The ones that have been sanctified from the beginning. <clears throat> First being his servants. And then those that believe and trust in Yehovah Hashem HaShem man. Let me get this real quick, man. Second address is 2 and 26, and it says, As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, but I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. And even then, when it makes mention of um, in verse 26, where it talks about who require his his servants, man, from among their number. And also, like it says, not one of them shall perish. <clears throat> and we know there's going to be martyrs. And even then, those martyrs that get beheaded for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, they they're going to come right back, man. <laughs> they're going to come right back. They're going to be greeted by Yahweh Shai. And then... When you when the Lord comes back with, with the holy angels with with the chariots, guess what? They, they gonna be on them chariots too. <clears throat> they gonna be on them chariots, man. <clears throat> and that's for brothers that have um died doing this work, man. <clears throat> the, the, the up there with your house shine right now. I I'm speaking this right now. The up there with your house shine, man. Literally cheering to, to, for us to finish our course too, man. <clears throat> Just so continue to do the work, continue what the Lord told you to do, man. 
Like, we're almost out of this bitch right now. We're almost out of this bitch. Like, the prophecies are falling like dominoes. Like, yo, it's, 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 it's just going off, man. <laughs> like, see, like, see me gonna be out of here, man. I'm gonna be present with you, have a shy, man. And the rest of the brotherhood <clears throat> that literally died for this truth, man. I'm carrying on, man. Verse 28. It says, The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. <clears throat> and even then, during the time of Jacob's trouble, there's going to be civil war, man. And nation going to be fighting against... And nation going to be fighting against nation, man. I want to say nation against nation. I mean, in the biblical sense, nation. So the biblical nationality is like Elam, Going up against someone from the nation of Edom, or going up against Jacob, or going up against um the sons of Ishmael, <clears throat> and so on, man. And evidently, the Lord's the the Lord let us know that the nations don't like us. So during that time, we're going to be targeted, especially the prophets. Why? Because they've been talking about all this thing, all these things. They're gonna, they're gonna come for the prophets first, man. They're gonna blame the prophets for everything, and and Esau gonna be there with his smug little red devilish face, up on the news talking about yeah it was them. The the they were saying this at this this time right here. Here here's the video evidence. Oh, they said Jacob's was gonna happen. Oh, they said <clears throat> civil war's gonna break out. They said the internet's going to get shut down. They said the Lord's going to come and do all these terrible things. Well, in their eyes, it's going to be terrible, but we all know it's, it's judgment. And the judgment of the Lord is righteous, man. Yeah, here we go, Psalms 19 and 9. Our king, or my lack of that da. It says, The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimam Shah, is clean and enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimam Shah, are true and righteous altogether. <clears throat> yeah, here we go, man. You can even read Psalm 33 and 5. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord Yahweh So there you go, man. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm carrying on with Esau and his um his slender. <laughs> he's, he's gonna go full fledged, man. And that reminds me of um Project Megiddo, where all those um groups that have um been made, <laughs> them troops are gonna go there first, man. And guess who's on the list? The Hebrew Israelites. And even if you don't even consider yourself a Hebrew Israelite, they're still gonna come for your ass. They don't care. <clears throat> do you really think? Do you really think those elites <clears throat> that wanna cut us off care who de- who, de- who declares themselves as an Israelite or not? Nah. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, oh man, yes, lucky. Well, yeah, like I've seen, they don't care if you agree with the Dutch or not, or if you proclaim yourself to be a Hebrew Israelite or not, or if you claim your nationality or your heritage. They don't care. <laughs> They're gonna be like, man, man, sparing that, still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. <laughs> At that point in time, it won't matter what you believe, man. Because they're going to see you as the enemy. Uh, and also, let me go to... Um, I don't know. Let me head on over to second address. Chapter 16. And I know it's down here somewhere. <clears throat> second address 16. And let me start at 68. Actually, you know what? 
Let me start 67. It says, Behold, the power, Yahweh, where Shema was shy himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle with to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the power Yahweh by Shema Shai lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. And yeah, like I may mention, being the let, <clears throat> being the ones that have been sanctified from the beginning, man. Like there's there there are people on this earth right now, or should I say, Israelites on this earth right now, who have been chosen by the most high man to literally receive salvation. <laughs> Yo, that's 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 amazing, man. Before the world was even found founded, man. Before the world was even made, they, they were already chosen. Well, praise to you, Halba Shem Hamashai, man. <clears throat> but yeah, let's carry on. It's like it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. So imagine this. These troops come, they grab you up, they bring you to a CC, or a concentration, C A M P S, <clears throat> and there you're locked up. And even in the scriptures, we make mention of that in the book of Revelation. Um, what's it called again? Yeah, Revelation two and ten. It says, "Fear none of those things which doubt shall suffer." Yeah, speaking to those martyrs, man. <clears throat> it says, "Behold, the devil or the deceiver." Being Esau Edom shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, I will give thee a crown of life. <clears throat> and those martyrs are already destined to literally get through it, man. The Lord gonna be with them. <clears throat> but yeah, carrying on. For those who aren't of the Lord's elect, yeah, basically, you fucked. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a hundred, man. You fucked. <clears throat> and like it says, being idle, which being idle is to 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 literally be stagnant or to be still. Basically, you get locked up, man, imprisoned. And it says with things offered unto idols. Yeah, they they are gonna come through. They are gonna come through with um, with a good cop and bad cop. <clears throat> and if you've seen them interrogation videos of um, Esau Edom, two e two Edomite cops, literally doing a good cop bad cop with um with with Jacob, or with Jake. <laughs> you 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 know what they're gonna do, man. They they they're very deceptive, and the words that they use. <clears throat> Can literally lead you to literally confess to something that you ain't even done. <clears throat> and they're going to do this. <laughs> they, they might come through with um with some food. Oh, we, we've got this food for you. Have you thought about taking the MOTB now? <clears throat> and then they'll be like, you can either get one in your head or you can take one in your hand. It don't matter which hand, it's still going inside you. <laughs> oh man <laughs> and yeah man a lot of, a lot of people are, are going to be literally um what's the word because of the tribulation that they're not used to or that how or that furnace adversity they're not used they're not used to it so they're just going to accept it and even even then, like <laughs> it's like a double edged sword, man. <clears throat> or should I say a sword with two ends, man? Like if you grab one part of the sword, you're gonna get cut. If you grab the other part of the sword, you're you gonna get cut. Cause those who who aren't a part of the laws are let. Like literally <clears throat> if they don't take it. They're fucked by Esau Edom and, and, and by the end of it all. 
<clears throat> know that they'll be an outcast, or even then they may get beheaded. And then if you do take it, now you gotta worry about how about Shema Hawashai. Because now your ass is marked for them nuclear missiles, man. And them nuclear war is gonna come through, man. It's gonna come through and, and, and thrust, thrust into people, man. <clears throat> and that's another reason why the prophets call these ICBMs arrows, man. Because what happens when you shoot an arrow? It, it, it thrusts through, into, it literally goes through something. Or it goes into the person. And that's essentially what these <laughs> ICBMs are going to do. They're, they're literally going to go for everything. They're going to, it's, it's going to destroy everything, literally, man. It's going to consume everything. <clears throat> and those that are taking the MOTB, they're going to get consumed, which there's two. One of them being the RFID micro CHIP. And then you got the brain CHIP. Which which one will they take? We don't know. They may offer incentives. Actually, no, none of them may. They will offer incentives. If you take both of them, you can get a brand new house. You can <clears throat> live peacefully in this um what's it called again? What is this? Yeah, those smart cities. Yeah, you can live peacefully in this smart city. We'll give you a job. And we'll put some credits on your um digital account so you can spend that digital money. <laughs> uh, and, and people are going to do it, man. The scriptures talk about how many were deceived because of those miracles, man. And people are going to think it's good. Why? Because it does a lot of good. But essentially, it's, you know, that's, that's just some of the things that it can do. But... <clears throat> Essentially, taking it is basically you. Basically, you saying, "I'm not um of the creation of the Most High. I'm the creation of Esau. Now. Esau is my God. That's what they're basically saying when they take it. And even then, they they'll be changing their DNA and their structure. And literally, the Lord is going to have to <laughs> purify them. Man, He's going to purify all of them." With that fireman, the fire that <laughs> what 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 did I say? I say um, you know, let me let me get it real quick. Let me get it real. Let me get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isaiah forty seven and fourteen. <laughs> it says, "Behold, they shall be as stubble; the fire shall burn them." They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coat of war mat, no fire to sit before it. So yeah, man, this ain't no ordinary fire, man. The fire that the Lord gonna bring, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't like this normal fire that you see, like a fireplace. You, you throw the coals in the fire, and you can control the um, how big the flame gets, or you could throw some logs in it. <clears throat> and literally that in, in that sense it's that's controllable. You'll be able to put that out very easily. But this fire <laughs> this fire that the Lord gonna send upon America, it's gonna consume everything until there's nothing left. <clears throat> Hopefully I can find it. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I remember Tawadi Halbert from Hal Shaman. Ah, second hundred sixteen and fifteen. It says the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. Yeah, until Babylon's made a desolate wilderness, left without an inhabitant. That's the purpose of your followers from Hawashai. 
And you know what? Let me get there. Jeremiah 51. And 28. It says, prepare against her the nations. And the her being Babylon. Or the whore that sit upon many waters. So like it says, prepare against her the nations. With the king of the Medes. Being the Russians. <clears throat> they're known as the spiritual Medes. <clears throat> Because they're, they're going to be in the same spirit that the ancient means were in. To take down ancient Babylon. <laughs> and the Lord's going to put that same spirit upon the Russians, man. And it says, the captains thereof and the rulers thereof are know the land of his dominion. And the land shall tremble in sorrow. For every purpose of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem HaWashah, shall be performed against Babylon. To make the land of Babylon a desolation. Without an inhabitant. So yeah man. Babylon going to be empty man. Uh, and that man's in that scripture. Jeremiah 50. <clears throat> uh, and 25. It's so like it says. The Lord you help us from Moshav. Opened his armory. And the armory is where the weapons are kept. And have brought forth the weapons. Of his indignation. Bring his righteous anger. For this is the work of the Lord. You help us from Moshav. Host in the land of the Chaldeans. And Chaldeans were warlocks and witches in ancient Babylon. And the reason why modern day Babylon or the door of Babylon, which is America, has been given the name of the Chaldeans is because of the witchcraft, sorcery and enchantments that they do. <laughs> and it says, come out against her from almost border, open the storehouses, cast up as heaps and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. So this, you know what? They ain't gonna be a blade of grass. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no twigs. There ain't gonna be no trees. There ain't gonna be no roots. It's all gonna be gone, gone. As it's, as Malachi said, man, I love the scripture Malachi four and one. It says, "For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and that and the day that cometh shall burn them up." So the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Hashem, host, that he shall lead them neither root nor branch. And yeah, man, when 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 winter time comes or fall comes, you saw the branches on the floor. There's loads of them everywhere. It's, it's, it's hard to get rid of them. <laughs> they just keep falling off. And then you got the roots, which go deep into the earth, man. Very, very deep into the earth. And the reason why is because there's a source of water down there. Hence why the roots go all the way down there. Because they're going towards the water. So even if it rains, it don't matter because it's, it's all going to go to the same place where the roots are getting the water from. <clears throat> and even then, <clears throat> there's a thing called a dew. Where literally water springs up out of the earth, man. <clears throat> For example, <laughs> when, I, when I was in the education system, I would have to walk across this field of grass and it hadn't even been raining, but I'd walk on the grass and the grass would be wet and it hadn't even been raining, meaning there's water literally coming up out of the earth, man, in, 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 um, in small increments, <clears throat> literally watering the, the grass that's there, man. <laughs> the Lord's truly full of everything. <laughs> And now going back to um second address sixteen and sixty nine, so like it says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot. <laughs> so yeah, man, <laughs> they're gonna be fucked either way. And it says, For there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And yeah, man. <laughs> the, the only way to escape this is to be of the Lord's elect or to be the one that the Lord have chosen man, from the beginning. There's nothing you can do to prepare for this. <clears throat> and even then, the the Lord's elect, they're preparing by watching these videos. <clears throat> and the prophets are preparing by doing these videos and teaching the scriptures. 
And let's continue. And it says, They shall be like man men sparing none, but still spoiling and destroyed. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. And just like um that movie, I think it was called um I don't oh, even know what it's called, man. It's, it's called Amer- American something. Where basically um the military were going into the cities, into urban areas, basically doing doing tests. <clears throat> and they're going door to door saying, have you got any guns and have you got any food? And uh, <laughs> they'll literally take them, man. They'll take the guns and the food and they're going to do that in real life, man. And we know how... <clears throat> Esau is about his guns. <laughs> like literally, there's gonna be war in the in the in in the urban areas, man. Like people are gonna be shooting each other, <clears throat> and people are gonna be backing out mini guns. And if you think Esau ain't got a mini gun or some vehicle with a turret on it, you're delusional. Because <clears throat> I've seen it myself, man. There's literally Edomites that are preparing for this very thing, man. They have a whole bunch of food. They have a they have a underground bunker, and they got these crazy ass weapons, and they got vehicles with weapons on it. <clears throat> so if you think, oh, I'm gonna come out with my with with, with my pistol, so six shot or sixteen shot, you're done, man. <laughs> and like this, and like the Lord, you have I said, <clears throat> those who take up the sword are gonna die by the sword, man. So if, if you want to go ahead and trust in your bow or your weapon, go ahead. You, you're just going to die. But the one who was, who, or should I say, whose blessing was to, to have the sword. <clears throat> and carrying on. It says, Then shall there be known who are my chosen, and there shall be tried as gold in the fire. So yeah, man, when these things happen, and when this trouble comes, the Lord's going to make it evident who he has chosen. I know those lies that people love to say, like, oh, the Most High is dealing with me, or, um, <clears throat> or they'll be saying, I'm, I'm of the let, or they have the 144,000. Or they'll be saying, oh, this, this religion is, is, is the, is the truth. Or, oh, the, the Quran is the word of God. We, 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 we're going to see. We are going to see when these Lord, when the Lord brings these judgments, man. Cause like it says, then, like it says, um, then shall there be known who am I chosen? Because <clears throat> the Lord is going to be with them. And you're going to see the angels, man. And that day, you're going to see the angels, man. Or should I say, you're going to see the chariots. And I won't be surprised if the angels come down. <laughs> like, like we, we already saw it before, man. And that that angel that, that was standing behind them, the brothers on, on the highways and byways, man. Waiting, waiting for them to, to say the name, man. Waiting for them to say the name. And he literally saluted the he looked directly into the camera lens. Saluted right before the the brothers or the, the elders said, Um, Yahweh Bashim Shai. He literally saluted and he was on his way. Letting letting us know that that's that's the name, bro. Call upon that name. <laughs> that that's that's the Fawa, man. This the, the literally the letter gonna be silver that name, man. They're going to call upon it. Call on how about Shem Hamashai, man. It's, it's a blessing to to even believe in this name, man. And, and to, to say it. Especially to call upon it with confidence. Like, <laughs> call on how about Shem Hamashai, man. <clears throat> but carrying on, it says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, say of the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the powers your guide will be in Yahweh Hashem HaWashai. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, says the Lord Yahweh Hashem HaWashai. Let, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So yeah, man. Rehearse the righteous acts, which rehearse means to practice. <clears throat> and if we do go off, repent. <laughs> and that's literally what the grace is for. The Lord knows we ain't going to be perfect. We're in the land of our captivities, man. <clears throat> and it says, Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes and the pastor of covered with thorns that no man may travel there through. It is left undressed 
and just cast into the fires to be consumed therewith. <clears throat> but yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, man, I hope this is edifying. I don't want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the everlasting God, Yahweh, and the everlasting Son, Yahweh Shai, man. And shalom.